right, it's Thursday morning. We are in Agra and we're going to see the Taj Mahal. I have to get in line. All right, so we just made it through security and we're walking towards our destination. But that's not it. There. See, that's the gateway. That's not the Taj. Ah, the Taj is over there. We'll see it in a minute. So we're going to walk through the gate. Makrana is a place in Rajasthan, 360 kilometers away from Agra. And imagine there was no truck and lorries, they didn't have proper tools to cut the marble. More than 1,000 elephants were used, oxen, carts, camels, and they brought the blocks all the way, marble blocks from there to this place. And each and every marble block was cut into the required shape. It's the eastern. to the side. So the pieces were carved or inlaid on the ground, and later the pieces were raised to this height. The style of architecture is a fusion of Indian and Islamic. So the use of domes, arches, and minarets, that's pretty Islamic. But the use of eave, beams, brackets, black ceilings, uh, this is more Hindus. All right, so now we're going to go inside, take a look. Oh, what's in there? All right. So it's very pretty from a lot of different perspectives. All right, we're gonna go in. It looks plain wide in photographs. See, it's such an interesting work, relief work. They carve the marbles. This is in one piece from here to there, and then they have chiseled out. They hammer and chisel, they make some interesting flowers like tulip and iris. And because of touching, you know, people have made it very shiny. Well, there's almost no light in here. There's a big dome, but... I'm sorry, it just doesn't show up. So under the under the dome is the tomb of is this, is this the guy's wife. And his and his is there. The uh, tomb inside is surrounded by this marble screen. All right, so we just came out the back door. And the back of this uh, building is beautiful too, but it overlooks this river. River. Wow. Nothing on the banks of the river. Okay, see if you can see this optical illusion. It looks like the front of the column is pushed inwards, but as you go up, it looks like it's outwards. I think we're going to leave now, but one more nice view of the Taj Mahal. So now we're moving on to. Agra Fort and this is one big big fort. What do you see? Which is yeah. about 70 feet high, more than two and a half meters There's thick. There's an inner and an outer wall. The inner wall is higher. The fort on the bend of the river. We saw the river which was navigable and they have dammed it so it's very shallow. The same river behind. Exactly, it's to river the, that side. Agra Fort. Well this is really a drawbridge and it looks like it could even work. Can you see that? Quite amazing. This is Agra Fort. This is like he said larger than any palace in Europe. It's really quite amazing. I believe it. Alright, so we just walked inside of a gate. But look at this. This was the Hall of Common People of Public Audience, the Court of Justice. Wow. There's a balcony all the way inside where he uh, used to sit and he decided what is right and wrong. And this is how they designed the inner section of the harem. Uh, they kept the open space in the middle or they let out the garden in the center and then they could build the rooms around. Most of these rooms are interconnected, so a few ladies were living together in one room. And each and every room was well furnished with the carpets, walls were painted, they had doors and uh, lived where Shah Jahan uh, lived as a prisoner. He reconstructed this for his wife. But by the time the room was completed, she passed away. So then emotions and sentiments were tested with this room. When Father, when Shah Jahan lost the political power. So the moat was down there. Dry and the wet. Yeah, dry. And this was the wet moat. Yeah. And the river was all the way to the wet moat. All right, so we're coming up to what well, looks like a big granite cup, but in fact, it's a bathtub made oh. out of granite. And it's portable. Well, portable if you have enough muscle to carry it around. 
See the stairs? Yeah, they had, they had stairs to go in. One is missing. So then I believe this must have been sunk into the ground up to the lower part. Right. Say, tell me who he is. Pictures. Hassan. He's very, he's very cute. Okay. He knows Obama and Michael <laughs> Jordan. Yeah? That's all you need to know. All right, so we just got up to the top and got a bunch of guys just hammering away in these, these things. A royal festival in this courtyard. On that occasion, the whole place was tented. Oh. Yes, they were nomad by nature. A lot of red sandstone buildings. It has got two levels when you access to the So there was a reservoir. This was a reservoir. And uh, down there is a road built the way they used to do it with individual stones. Game can be played by so this is players. a game of Parcheesi. So there were four players, yeah. and instead of pieces, they had the 16 girls. Concubines were nicely dressed up, and each so one had four girls. Girls so were The man who played from this side, he kept the girls here, and then he rolled the dice, and later he uh, ordered to one of these girls to move on. This is how you push them. They started from here, and then they took a round. They went all the way there and then the girls would come through the center squares and he was supposed to put them in the middle. And this is called the house of Turkey Sultana. She was Emperor's first wife. And was there were mirrors. There were mirrors in between all those. Some said it was a room to get pleasure. All those uh, things there. Like.